Thank you. When people are shy, their eyes are usually shut or squinty, or they wear glasses to hide their eyes, and they tend to go a bit pink in the face. I'm feeling shy right now, and I hope you can empathize with me, according to this little emoticon that I drew. I'm an animator. The definition of animation is to bring to life. An animator can be a person who stands on a stage and makes the crowd feel alive. A cartoon animator breathes life into drawings. And this is going to be like a mix of the two. I will humbly transmit the information, and you will hopefully receive and feel something. So we're going to do a little exercise in empathy. Now I know what you're thinking about audience participation. Oh no, she's going to make us hug the person next to us. I was actually at this conference in Amsterdam a few years ago for the Earth Charter. And there was this guy on stage, and he was real high energy, crowd facilitator type. And he was walking back and forth, you know, this microphone thing. And he was like, how you all doing? And I want you to feel love for one another. And he tells us all to stand up and turn to the person on our right and give them a hug. And I'm like, if everyone stands up and turns to the person on their right, then everyone will be facing away from each other. And I'm like, that's not going to work unless you want some kind of mass crowd humping. <laughs> no. -uh. So we're going to do it differently. Why are my slides off center? That, that is bum bum. Take that away. Um, OK, no, no mass crowd humping. But I do want everyone to turn towards the person or imaginary person on your right. OK, like this. And take your finger, your right finger, and point it at their arm. And on the count of three, I want you to poke them. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Poke. 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 Was that good? Did you do it? I wasn't watching. Yes? OK. Now turn to your left and repeat. Raise your left hand and point. And on the count of three, you will poke. 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 I am poking you. I will poke you. Poke. What is that? That is Facebook. Is this a meaningful exchange? Maybe. But it's mostly kind of annoying. So let's go a little deeper than just superficial poking, and let's engage with some cartoon-style emotion. This is another emoticon that I drew, and this is shock. So when I show you the next drawing, I want you to point at it and look shocked, like this. OK? Mouth dropped. Eyes staring, just like this. Like, like pretend it's real, and you can gasp like this. <gasps> OK? To express your, your shock. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> that was good. That was good. 
That was actually good. Okay, the next emotion is rage. So, when I show you the next image, I want you to shake your fist and gnash your teeth, be really angry and say, Roar! Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that's a mistake. Don't look at that. No, no, sorry. Let's try it again. Rage. When I show you the next drawing, not photo, I want you to shake your fist, gnash your teeth, be really angry, and say, Roar! Ready? One, two, three. Roar! How is this okay? Why do they always want you to click okay? This is so not okay. No internet, no Wi-Fi. No 3G. Okay, actually, it was really difficult to draw the next drawing. I, I was actually kind of close to uh, wimping out and showing you another picture of the prime minister. But I was brave. You know that feeling when someone close to you has passed away and you have this incredible sense of loss? So when I show you the next image, you will feel loss and grief. And you can express it by saying, oh. Okay? Or you can try to hide it, you know, different people express in different ways. Um, so this is the saddest thing that I could think of. One, two, three. Oh. The truly sad thing is that although I drew this image for this presentation, after I drew it, a dear friend, a really close friend, lost his daughter to leukemia. And I posted the drawing on my blog in tribute and we all felt the unspeakable grief and loss evoked by the drawing. And uh, interesting it for me to note that when a real story is attached to the emotion, it becomes very powerful. And that post uh, uh, affected a lot of people. Countering with joy, I'm talking about the initial rush of bubbly feeling that you get when you see something that you like. So when I show you the next drawing, I want you to jump for joy. Now you don't actually have to jump because, you know, but you should feel like jumping. And, and if you want to do a little fist bump like this, yes, we won't stop you. Ready? One, two, three. Yes! Okay, you are one of the most influential people in social media. You can start a trend with a single tweet. Wow, okay, you have more clout than Justin Bieber. If that doesn't make you jump for joy, Sam, maybe this will. It will be happy hour very soon, guys. Yes. Yes. Happy hour. Embarrassment is one of my favorite emotions. I love human foibles. In fact, I, I pretty much built my comedy career around them. I love lifting the rock and watching the bugs run for cover. So when I show you the next drawing, I want you to try to imagine that it's you in the drawing and cringe and wish that you had a paper bag. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> what? This never happened to you? I had this friend, actually it was my ex-sister-in-law, and she had this secret code for saying, for, for when, to let you know that when something was stuck in your teeth, like food, she'd say, it's tonight. And you know, when she said that, that, oh, there's something stuck in my teeth, and you can deal with it. But for a booger, she'd say, it's tonight, in your nose. <laughs> How about this for embarrassment? I'm walking down the street, minding my own business. When the unthinkable happened,
and it was flesh-toned. What can you do? What can you do? If you're an animator, you do this. Shazam! <laughs> you can't keep a good animator down. All right. Love. I want you guys to feel warm and fuzzy. Try not to hug the person next to you. Instead, imagine that you are hugging this. Aw, so cute. Don't you just want to hug him? Oh, look, he's reaching out to you. Feel the love for this cuddly teddy bear. Okay, just reach out your arms like this. Come on, do it. Reach out your arms and give him a great big hug. Oh no, it's a raging zombie teddy bear. And it's trying to bite you. Help, help, zombie. Too late. You've been bit. You are now a zombie. You're a whole herd of zombies, an army of zombies, moan and lurch zombies. You are black on the palette of emotions. You feel nothing, nothing like an auto DM, nothing like a Twitter bot account. You feel nothing like an emotionless auto tweet text file. It's the social media zombie apocalypse, but guess what? You wake up. It was just a dream. Phew. And that's the message that I want to give. And I think a lot of people here before me today wake up. Be aware. Be alive. Be as alive as you can be. Be animated. And don't forget to feel. Why feel? Feeling is what makes us real. I hope you now feel shiny. <laughs>